Hello, it's Kate. How are you? Thank you for joining me on my channel today. So it's the beginning of November, which means the challenge group I'm part of has been given its um, monthly challenges for November. And one of the things we've been challenged to make this month is a upright Z fold card, which is what I've done here. And it is such a nice cute fun fold and so easy to do i thought i'd share it with you this week um i have got here a normal z fold card this one is a double z fold and as you can see it opens to the side whereas with the upright one it just sits upright and the z is there if you can see And then it sits like that so it's really really cute um and i really really liked it so i thought i'd share with you today how i made this i'm actually going to make a birthday card today the papers i'm going to be using are these really gorgeous luster papers these are from do crafts the paper mania ones i'll just show you them really really quickly these are um, a, a set of papers that I had and I hadn't actually used, I hadn't even opened them, but they're really, really gorgeous. Um, I think they're probably from the pound shop or something like that, but you get two of each design, they're foiled and they're really, really stunning. So you've got the stripes, you've got this like... Uh, almost honeycomb one and they do them in gold and silver but aren't these just beautiful I've had these for a while and I really can't believe I've not used them before because they really are lovely lovely papers so just quickly show you the stars I'm using this one today um, I'm also using, there's another star one, I'm sure I'll get to it in a minute, um, that I'm going to be using. And they also come with two sheets of silver miri and two sheets of gold miri. Um, so I'm using those. So that's the paper pad I'm using. Um, I'm also going to be using the bunting that I got from, again, the pound shop. This is the Love to Craft bunting. It's um, called Let's Celebrate. I'm going to be using that. I'll probably end up putting some of these gems on just for decoration. I'm going to be using this stamp set on the back of the card. This was from a magazine last year. Um, and I'm going to use, I hope your birthday is as special as you are. This is one of my go-to stamp sets. I really, really like the stamps on here and the sentiments on here. So I use this stamp set a lot. So I'll be using that. And then a while ago, this was in one of my haul videos. This is a topper set I got from Every Crafts a Pound and I'm going to use this Happy Birthday topper here. I think it goes with the papers really, really nicely. So I'm going to be using that. And I'm going to be using um, the Lidl cardstock. So the first thing we need... Bring my scoreboard in. First thing we need is a card base. This is 12 inches by 6 inches. Let's see if I can just move this up a little bit. There we go. Um, and I'm going to score this at six inches and 
and then I'm going to flip it over and I'm going to score it at nine inches. And then that will give me my fold lines. So I'm going to fold that one up. I'm going to fold that one the other way and that now gives me my card base so I'll just burnish those fold lines and by flipping it it means the card doesn't crack so there is my Z fold so it's going to sit like that some other things you're going to need you're going to need for the center a piece of colored card to match card base which measures a five and a quarter by five and a quarter you then need miri card which is five by five and some patterned paper which is four and three quarters by four and three quarters and then the topper is going in the middle for the back of the card, we're wanting Miri card, which is five and three quarters by five and three quarters, and white cardstock or whatever you want to use, um, which measures five and a half by five and a half. For the bottom of the card, we're going to use um, gold Miri card which is five and three quarters by two and three quarters. And then patterned paper is five and a half by two and a half. And for the main card, we have gold paper, which is five and three quarters by five and three quarters. And then patterned paper, which is five and a half by five and a half. I think I've now covered all of that off. So I don't need my scoreboard anymore, just put that away. So the first thing I'm going to do is get my stamp and put my sentiment onto the back of the card so that it's done and then I don't have to think about it again Right, let's bring my card base back in. So the first thing I'm going to do is mat and layer the Miri card and the patterned paper onto this section here. So I've already put tape on the back of all of these.
Okay, so that's done the base of my card. Now I'm going to do this section here. Okay, so you're starting to get a gist for the card. I'm just going to do the back really quickly next. Uh, next, I'm going to mat all of these onto my centre piece, which will then sit in the middle of the card. So I'm just going to put my happy birthday topper in the middle of the card front, like that. And I really do think these papers work so nicely with these toppers. Look how pretty that is. Because it's all foiled, it just works so well. So this is going to sit on the card like that and now I have to fix this to the card um, because otherwise it's just going to flop so I originally, originally thought I would use bunting but I'm now thinking because of the size I've done the main card that's not really going to be an option so I think what I'm going to try instead is I have this little topper that matches the cake and if I put foam on the back, just foam adhesive, let's try two of those. I'm hoping it will just catch and sit nicely because on the last card I used a circle die um, and I just thought this time I'd try a square just for something different so if I to go about there-ish might just come down a bit Okay, that would probably work. So all I need to do now is put glue on the bottom here. I don't want to glue all of it because obviously I don't want to stick it to the back of the card. So I'm just going to put a little bit of glue on the bottom section. 
and then I'm going to attach that to the card flap. I'm going to leave the tiniest little border at the bottom of the card and that border is about the same so that's good okay and now it stands perfect okay so I didn't get to use my bunting however I think that's really cute um, and I'm not actually going to add any dots on that because I think that's pretty perfect as it is I think it's really pretty I think the papers do all the work so I don't think it really needs any more embellishment because the papers just talk for themselves so that is another upright Z fold card there's the one I did earlier so you don't have to use squares you could use circles you could use tags you could use whatever you want but there are so easy to do they are a lot of fun to do and they are really 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 cute so i hope you've enjoyed the video if you have please do give me a thumbs up i'd absolutely love it if you subscribed to my channel and if you do do that please feel free to hit the bell and then you'll be notified every time i upload a video so that's all for today and i'll see you soon bye for now